Hi guys, welcome back to this new video. Today I'll be talking about XLM, what's been happening with the coin, what can you expect to happen next, and what has been the latest news. If you don't want to miss any of that important information, make sure you do three simple things. Firstly, subscribe to the channel, like down this video, and most importantly, comment your thoughts down below. Guys, what's been happening with XLM? It's down 0.32%, and we're going to talk about what has been the latest momentum. On a little side note, guys, make sure to check us out at ptgr.ag. It's the first link in the description and book a free consultation call if you want to know more about cryptocurrencies. Let's crack on with the, this video and not waste any more time. XLM, guys, is down 0.32% on its high at 0.12 cents and we've been pretty much on a rally if we look at the 12 cent zone, uh, the seven day zone, we've been able to move out of the resistance level of 10 cents and we've been able to actually reach new highs of 13 cents on, it, on its high. Uh, this is very good and we will be looking at new highs uh, for major reasons and that's what I want to focus this video on is what has been the latest news and momentum that will be allowing us to reach these new highs uh, slowly and slowly but surely. Um, guys, the first one, ladies and gents, let's talk about it. It's this new XLM is available in Atomic Wallet, the first wallet with cross-chain Atomic Swap Exchange. Now you can manage and trade your Stellar Lumen in the secure and anonymous way. Now this is very good because it's looking at greater adoption on a mass scale and the fact that Atomic Wallet added this uh, possibility for XLM is good because it will bring traffic but it's also seeing that it's actually listening to its community so an overall very bullish news for XLM. Now the second new I want to talk to you about is this one uh, ladies and gents this is big because it's talking about stellar ads running in Rome airport. Now we've talked about major adoption, mass adoption, institutional uh, adoption as we saw the ISO 222 is slowly coming into uh, place, you are starting to see um, advertising and marketing campaign being run for Stellar. And this is very good because, uh, you know, Rome Airport is a major airport and it's going to benefit from a lot of traffic um, on a mass institution base that will um, actually see these ads and, and start to get a feeling of what Stellar is all about. So very bullish run because it will bring us new investors and it will overall bring bring um mass movement towards Stellar. Very good. Another one is this one, ladies and gents. Super cool digital cryptsy. You need to watch this video. I guarantee this will make your day. Now this is very good because it's talking about food bank that converts your airline into crypto and make your NFT purchase via Stellar. Very good because you are seeing the whole overall community responding and actually adopting itself to the Stellar community and you are seeing NFT space slowly growing, Web 3.0 growing and those are all very bullish news because it's what will allow us to actually move forwards into our price action in the future and overall very good news for Stellar. The fact that you are also seeing this a uh, swift network is capable of dealing with cbdc's or ripple and uh, and stellar involved in it the the important thing is that you are seeing swift um, being running uh, very closely with the iso 222 and the fact that stellar and xrp are directly involved into the cbdc's and swift indirectly is very big and it will bring guys mark my word it will only need a matter of time before major institutions realize the potential that Stellar is actually solving with regards to um, a payment transaction, uh, remittance payments. Those are all huge tackling issues that actually Stellar is entering uh, with, as well as uh, Ripple. So overall, very good news. The reason why I'm more focused on Stellar, I am a little bit skeptic as to what's happening with Ripple and its SEC case. I do like better than uh, that Stellar doesn't have any involvement with, um, or any past with the justice. And that is an overall clean sheet that it's starting from and an overall bullish uh, sign. Now, another news I want to talk to you about is this one. That would be Stellar XLM. Name a network that allows you to request Euro from a friend through a QR who pays in any other currencies in second without fees. Now, this is insane, guys, because if you're looking at technology-wise, the fact that utility-wise um, is crazy. If you're looking, if you were to ask your grandparents, right, you were to ask how uh, can you make a payment and the other person to receive it um, in fractions of second, the solution before was cash, right? But now you're able to do this frictionless um, online through technologies that Stellar Lumen offers, right? So the fact that you're able to solve these remittance payments that 
used to take for remittance payment sending, for example, from Spain all the way to South America, used to take four to five days, expensive fees, long process, yet to go through bank hours, etc. Very inefficient process. This is solving and tackling all these issues. And this is very big because it's looking at utility at first hand. And this is what we need for our community to actually get into it and realize all the, the utility it's bringing to the table and what it is able to offer to, to, to the end user. So very, very bullish uh, news that you are seeing working at first hand. Another one is this one, turn your cash into Stellar. There is no money possibility at your local Coinstar kiosk. Mine's in my local ASDA supermarket store, where's yours? Now we've talked about Coinstar and its partnership with Stellar. The fact that is important to mention is the skill, right? Um, I mean, Coinstar has location, whether that's in the, in the United Kingdom, as in the US and Canada and Europe and Japan, and this will bring a maximum uh, uh, acceptance from overall on an institutional basis as well on a retail basis, right? For P2P P2 as well as B2B, this is very bullish news because it's overall increasing the accessibility and the access to Stellar Lumen. A very bullish news and the fact that you are seeing it, seeing it work at first hand. Another one is this one, the future of commodity funding, SCF becoming DAO. The future of commodity funding running through the Stellar Community Fund, very good because you are looking at innovation, you are looking at innovative, destructive technologies that are actually very interesting important in our society and it's showing development all through the stellar community very positive because it's looking at uh, funding the community funding and the fact that it in, in is involved in web 3.0 and this whole development towards blockchain and stellar is very positive because it's tackling worldwide issues very bullish news for stellar now another one ladies and gentlemen i want to talk to you about is this one picking unicorns the network news so great to see an initiative application like whereas app using stellar ramps to access in a global network of on and off ramps and this is very good because you are looking at community slowly using Stellar and this is what we need and you're seeing these projects slowly develop that are all actually beneficial to the end users so it's very good because they are all running through um, the Stellar Foundation and the Stellar Technology very good another one is this one ladies and gentlemen Stellar is built for blockchain Stellar is built for payment it's built for CBDCs banks fintechs developers it's built for everyone now this is what is important because a lot of people have a misconceptions of crypto nowadays being simply digital coins the fact being is I invest my money where I see actually utility and actual um, need for it right now in my my opinion bitcoin was good for its past but it is slowly getting outdated because it's lacking um the, the 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 fact that it's lacking the utility aspect that i believe that xlm coin xdc as well as xrp are all solving now stellar like we've talked about it has a development in blockchain we've talked about the p2p application for payments cbdc's but also for banks its partnership fintechs as well as developers it's a worldwide scale and it's very diverse diversified it's an overall very bullish news for stellar and ladies and gents the other news i want to talk to you about is this one in just a few products away from becoming a complete DeFi platform you are slowly seeing its involvement in web 3.0 and DeFi application trust me once this is done it will be the only platform which will have such a huge variety of product now this is very good because again you are seeing utility you are seeing this development from lumen swap and in its introduction into DeFi platform all running on Stellar and it is very bullish for the coin because it will bring mass, mass um, it will bring uh, mass traffic and it will institution it will bring institution that are seeing this but most importantly it will bring a certification to the project and overall bring stability to the coin finally this news i want to talk to you about ladies and gents we have to respond to the demand for digital payment everything is accelerating the wait will soon be over now if you're looking at xrp xdc xlm cbdc's are required to maintain the role of central bank and this is very much true they don't want to involve cryptos but they have no choice if they want to be looking into the future 
And the fact is XR, XRP, XLM, and XDC are able to help the, the, the role of central banks. And it's only a matter of time before people realize all the utility it's bringing to the end user. Finally, I want to talk to you about this one. Stellar right now is pumping and it's true. And ladies and gents, it's only the beginning. The other one is this one, Crypto News Flash. Stellar huge upgrade offers free XLM and earns new NFT to achieve. This is very good because you are seeing reward. You are seeing community involvement and overall i want to talk to you about this news which talks about cbdc's and iso 222 if you are seeing all the players where whether it's quant for its overledger where you're seeing stellar uh, for its consensus protocol for the SCP, then you're seeing ripple for the protocol consensus algorithm which all have a partnership with corda or three corda uh, and then you see xdc integrated with its technology that directly has ties with JP Morgan Chase. This is very big because it cannot be neglected. Now the technology behind it is very complex, but what's worth noting is the involvement of these companies, right? Don't really see it as a coin, see it as a company behind. When you invest yourself into Facebook or, 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 or another stock like Tesla, you're investing in the vision, you're investing in the technology, and that's what's important. You're not investing in some sort of meme project this has utility behind it to back it up so ladies and gents if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it if you made it to the end um, i hope you found this insightful make sure you like comment and subscribe your thoughts down below and ladies and gents i'll make sure to see you in the next one see you next time bye